Now at Mickey D's, when you buy any crispy chicken sandwich or quarter pounder with cheese, you'll get a free medium fry and free medium drink when you order on the app. So do you have the app? How are you going to get this deal if you don't have the app? I know you have a phone. Anywho, if you have the app, enjoy your free fries and drink. If you don't, you can't see me. But know that I'm shaking my head. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. I'm in a time only. I participate in McDonald's. Valid one time per day. Visit McDonald's app for details. Download and registration required. Don't waste the summer months staring at a screen trying to figure out who accepts your vision insurance. Pearl Vision works with all major vision plans, including iMed. Plus, when you bring in the receipt from your last eye exam, they'll apply up to $150 towards a new pair of glasses. Visit pearlvision.com to find your neighborhood eye care center today. Valid prescription required. Valid at participating locations. Restrictions apply. Taxes extra. See store for details. Ends 10 2022 Exams available at the Independent Doctors of Optometry at or next to Pearl Vision. Some doctors employed by Pearl Vision. My guest today has over 28 years of experience with the Hilliard Area Chamber of Commerce. They believe in the success of the community, and it's based on the strength and vibrant businesses that they serve. The first chamber meeting was actually held in 1972 with 12 members. Today, they serve nearly 500 businesses who believe in their vision, values, and mission. My guest today, and I met actually on a tweet which tells you how active she is in this community and on social media. She has over 21 years as the president and CEO of the Hilliard Area Chamber of Commerce. My guest today is none other than my friend and a champion for our community, Libby Girock. All right, everybody, welcome to Unscripted from my studio at the Junction in Old Hilliard. And speaking of Old Hilliard, just a stone's throw away is the McCoy Center, which my guest and I have met for the first time, IRL as the kids say today, in real life. And, um, and actually, today is raining, and at least at the time of this podcast, it's not a Hilliard Chamber type of day. But the first time my guest and I met was at, on a tweet from myself. Uh, so let me let my guest introduce herself and we will go from there. <laughs> that is so true. Um, I'm Libby Garrock. I'm the president and CEO of the Hilliard Area Chamber of Commerce. And it was hilarious when I actually saw Aaron because I could recognize his head mainly <laughs> because we were at the Taste of Hilliard that the chamber puts on. And right. uh, after following him through Twitter and so forth, because I was pretty big on social media, it was just like, Aaron, Libby. <laughs> There I love those kinds of meetings. Yeah. Fun. And I actually had, I had actually been let go from a job that I had for like 12 years the day that we met at Taste of Hilliard. I'll never forget that. That's why I'll always remember it. But Taste of Hilliard was fantastic. And just one of the many things that the Hilliard Chamber provides. So I wanted to, I wanted to have Libby on today. One, because she is just a rock star in Hilliard, but two, I, I wanted to, let's talk about the chamber because I did Again, to go back to it, I tweeted. It was like 76. There was a breeze. The sun was out. It was a perfect day. This had to be, I'm thinking back, this had to be 10 years ago. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. At right? Least. Not, right. That it's, at least. not that it's not always sunny in 76 in Hilliard, but but at, the, at when the tweet went out, it was, hey, it is a Hilliard chamber kind of day in Hilliard. It was just, and next thing I know, I'm Libby's following me and we are you know, interacting on Twitter. And it's been such a wonderful relationship ever since. And I'm so thankful for our friendship. But what is the Hilliard Chamber? For those well, that don't know. That's right. Because a lot of people go, Chamber, Commerce, what, how does that go together? And a lot of chambers actually drop the Commerce part because Chamber is um, is the name that people go by. But um, we have been in existence for, it will be 50 years in uh, 2023. So we're really excited about celebrating our golden anniversary coming up. Um, so the Chamber of Commerce provides a lot of services for businesses. And generally, our, we're a membership-based organization. So we pay special attention to our members, but we are here for all businesses. We like raise all ships, correct? So um, as a membership-driven organization, we have about over 500 members currently. And we provide um, connection events where people can um, come together, get to know each other so they can do business together or send referrals to each other. We also have um, some programming to make their businesses grow, whether it be at a chamber luncheon or a lunch and learn or um, another 
webinars, some kind of thing that we provide to them or give them the resources to do those things. Um, and we also provide a lot of advocacy. That's a lot of what the chamber is doing lately in terms of making sure that our small businesses are aware of during the big COVID, right. um, what resources were available to them and sort of PPE, PPP, all those letters that um, came out of COVID. Right. So um, making sure that the resources they could have to sustain their business hopefully to so get them through that pandemic we're still in it but at least the when we were shut down that was the worst part so just a lot of resource materials we have on our website um, a lot of free resources for anybody to go to to avail themselves of information and we're just um that business resource we're also um with advocacy we we, we research we listened to our legislators whether it be local in hilliard city of hilliard or, or Franklin County, City of Columbus that affect our businesses, as well as the state. Um, some federal government, but not as much, but involved with state government, um, what's going on in the state house and the bills that are going either pro-business or anti-business, we will sometimes get involved with that. So we want to make sure that our businesses are operating in the least restrictive environment. So they are profitable. And you've been an absolute champion in, in a very tough season um, the last two years. Um, and anyone watching, if we have, if we put the video up or, or, uh, or that sees the video, you'll see, first of all, I love your background on zoom. It's awesome. Not all about Hillary. <laughs> Always it's, all about Hillary. It's so good. Um, but, but you've been a true champion for businesses. Um, I myself was in a small business that was located in Hilliard, uh, during the, co during the COVID, th during COVID, whichever you call it during COVID. Um, and then now have launched on my own as, as some people know. And the first thing I did was sign up for the chamber because it's such a networking and chain, you know, just such a great opportunity for any small business. And you've been a true champion. So what, what has that last two years been look, looked like for you all? I know it's been tough. It's been tough for everyone, but you know, between masks and, and ordinances and, and all these different things, um, what, what, what's that last two years been like for you guys? Yeah, it's a challenge is a small, it's a large word, but ugh, yeah, it's huge. Um, right. Actually, I will tell you that our partnership with the city of Hillier has been phenomenal. So we worked with the economic development department, as well as the communications department from the city. And we developed um, some PPE things for our businesses to come and get. They, they were the resource with um, Jobs Ohio, and they included us in the distribution of getting those PPE um, boxes out, which included masks and hand sanitizer and various things um, that businesses needed at that point in time, as well as we developed um, Move Hilliard Forward. That was something that the chamber came up with, but we wanted to sort of broaden that and how it could be inclusive because we're a very collaborative and inclusive um, group. So it contacted the city to say, is this something you would like to uh, partner with? And they did. So so trying to get a, because I wanted to move Hilliard Forward because we were stuck. We were just right. stuck in that COVID thing. I don't mm -hmm. like that word, but I have to use it. Um, so just, we want to move forward. How do we get past this? How do we move forward so that we can look beyond where we are currently and move to a better place and, and help our businesses? So that was a great collaborative effort that we did with them um, and so forth. So it's been, it's still challenging. Our Obviously our workforce issues is huge right now with our businesses. Um, so we're working on some programming to see what we can do to help with that. Um, looking at the um, SBDC, which is a small business development center through Columbus um, State how we can work with them um, to provide resources again for our businesses. We want to make sure we're, we're working with them because just some of our restaurants, I mean, it's so hard to get help in lots of different um, categories of business. But I mean, just down the street, Obag and Ales is closed on Tuesdays because they have staffing issues. So mm. it's really hard to go by their place and not see any cars in the parking lot. So yeah. we just want to make sure that we're um, going to keep promoting Hilliard and how we can get people to live, work and play and, and, and celebrate and, and um, support our businesses here. And you guys have done a great job with that. And again, that's speaking as a former um, business director for a, a local business that I'm, I'm no longer with, but we were the beneficiary of some of the, the benefits, not only the networking, but also some of the hard work that you all did, like I said, as a champion for us on our behalf. Um, it's just so critical because I think a lot of people think of, and, and I don't mean this in any disrespect, it's not just a, a monthly luncheon where you get together with other businesses, there's so much more that you all do. The breadth of what you can provide a small business or a, any business that joins the chamber is is really overlooked, in my opinion. Well, our, our mission, I always have to look, because so I say it correctly, is collectively building <laughs> success and a strong community. So it's business on one hand, but it's the entire community together, bringing them together so that we can um, be a successful group of people, um, businesses, and community members. So 
and it's it's bad. I mean, I love it's still coming to work every day. I've been doing this for like yeah. 28 years, and uh, it's still phenomenal. I guess I've been president CEO for 21 years now, so it's um, in the system prior to that. So I just absolutely love the chamber work. It's not something you go to school for. It's something that becomes a passion. It just sort of things fell in place, and I was asked to do it, and I just still enjoy it. I'll tell you one of the best things about being a chamber member or whatever is the strategic partnerships that you can make. That's when my thing that I love the most is if a business has a molasses point or whatever, I can help try to find them those resources to get them past that. Or here's some people that you need to speak with and all that. One of the success stories was um, I had um, Chad Smock. But, um, I see. Yeah. Chad, mm -hmm. Yeah. Legacy Smokehouse. Right. had been contacting me for a couple of years. I've got this this business with a couple other guys. We really want to come to Old Hilliard. We want to have, um, a, you know, barbecue place. We do great barbecue and all that. We don't, there's no place. Where, what do you know, Libby? What do you know? So we had that for like a couple of years. And then all of a sudden, this other gentleman who I met through our former leadership Hilliard program, Andy Warnock, mm -hmm. um, I, I bought this building. We had been talking for years ahead to bought this building. I don't know what to do with them. Went, oh, connected Chad go. and Andy together. And now we have Legacy Smokehouse right here in Old Hilliard. So that was just like a, I felt like I, that was just such a rewarding experience for me in terms of doing that. And right now I'm looking for, um, I'm trying to help some people who want to open a wine shop here in Old Hilliard. So I've got a couple of fingers out to some people who have some properties here. So I'm hoping that that comes to fruition as well. So yeah, it's just a lot of fun in terms of that. Cause, you, and if people don't let me know what they're struggling with or if they want what they want, I can't help them. And we also obviously partner with the economic development department um, with Angela Zodi and David Meadows, who's the director yeah. um, over at the city. We're great, great friends, let alone great colleagues. Yeah. And I, 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 I'm in my sweet spot in life too, because I work with a lot of the same people, all the names you just mentioned, Angela, Andy, David, um, Michelle, I, I'm so thankful to be where I am in life in this place. Um, and and I, I couldn't even tell you how we got here to Hilliard, but we're here and we love it because of all those things. I think there's so many people in this city that like yourself, that believe in networking and relationships. And I'm, I'm building a business on relationships. I, it really is so important. And that's something I'm such a fan of what you do yourself, as well as the chamber as a whole is relationships. It is so important in the world we're in today uh, given the things that we've talked about, the challenges, if we're not working together, goodness, it's it's going to be a really tough road. So I'm so thankful for what the chamber does and what the city does, the direction that the city's going in and the amazing people that they have in place. I really mean that. Yeah, we have um, like different things also to bring people together. Our hashtag mm -hmm. is Hillier. We, um, the chamber came up with a couple of years ago that we use that pretty much on all our social media as well as so move Hilliard forward. Um, so people can look at that. But um, with some of the other events we do to just even bring the community together, we have our Holly Fest Arts and Craft Show, which will be um, the first Saturday in December at Davidson High School. It will be, I think, our 37th year doing this or whatever. Wow. It's crazy, crazy. But it's great. We have 118 crafters that are all handmade um, items and so forth. So we're looking forward to that. Um, Taste of Hilliard, we had mentioned before, um, yep. which we've had. Toy Center, although it's been abbreviated uh, the last two years, um, we've had to make some modifications for that, obviously. But, you know, we have our golf outing. We, so we do some community events as well because we want to make sure um, people have the opportunity to taste our restaurants and see what's going on in our business expo as well with that. Got to see 50 businesses. So we're really promoting our member businesses to the community so that they take advantage of the services that they have to have, have that they are after. Um, we have so many outstanding businesses and at all levels, whether it be ADS, um, advanced drainage systems, which is a huge um, on the New York Stock Exchange and so forth, all the way to a, a solopreneur out of their um, out of their house, you know, trying to make it with them. <laughs> like with a podcast. And so forth. Yeah, it's just, uh, yeah. <laughs> like it's, a guy trying to make it with a podcast, right? <laughs> exactly. So they're all important. And we just want to make sure that everyone is, is as successful as they can and want to be. So. And the opportunities for what's beautiful is, is you just mentioned like almost an A to Z in terms of that, those, those contacts, the opportunities are the same for all of us, whether it's yes. a guy in this podcast or a guy trying you know, a fortune 500 company, which is again, just another resource. So before we go too far, because some people click out, I mean, they're on their treadmill and they're, it, they're yeah. about to be done. Um, what, what is, the, what is the link for what, what, where, where's the best place for me to get information? If I'm a business that hears this, what's the best place for, for me to connect with the Hillary chamber? 
Sure. Our website is hillierchamber.org. How original. Um, and we are really big on social media. We actually have the largest Facebook following um, in the city of Columbus. Wow. All the so yeah, so I'm pretty proud of that. We're over, we're almost getting to 9,000 um, people on that. So, but you can, the Chamber Facebook page is huge. We always have a lot of information on there, but the website will connect you with how you can join the Chamber, all the activities that we're doing, AKA we're doing a scarecrow spectacular. Um, so if people want to do a scarecrow at their business, um, this is the opportunity to do it. It's our second year doing it. It's hilarious. And we, it's, we had over 40 last year. So much fun. So much fun. So contact us for that. But um, yeah, hillierchamber.org or just Libby at hillierchamber.org is my email. So, and, that's and I'm pretty accessible -B -B everywhere. Well, absolutely. As, as evidence of our relationship on Twitter. Yes. yes. <laughs> so you mentioned a couple upcoming events, but we're getting ready to go into the fall at the time of this recording. Who knows when people will hear it, but at the time of this recording, um, so you mentioned is spooktacular, right? Yeah, the Scarecrow Spooktacular. Scarecrow Spooktacular. Again, find it on the website. Correct. And then is 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 it Howie Hilliard? Is that his name? Howie Hilliard. Thank you. We do yes. have an elf on the shelf, and we um, will be starting to go ask our businesses if they want Howie to come and visit them um, because it's a really good visibility for our businesses. Howie comes and he does something in your business, whether it be, let's just say it's a the flower shop right. and goes down there. He might be hiding in a tree or here or there. And then the, um, our community has to guess where Howie Hilliard is with the hashtag choose Hilliard and also um, name the business. So it's a lot of play and so forth. And then we do random drawings because it's about a 20 day process there where How Howie Hilliard goes. And then we draw random names who have given us the correct answers and we give them gift baskets, usually worth about two to $300 each. So from um, things from our businesses who have participated. So that's a hoot and a half right there. We it really, really is. And that's what I love is you all have a lot of fun as a chamber. It's not just, again, <laughs> I, I think so many people hear chamber and they think, okay, lunch, monthly lunch and whatever. There's, you all have so much fun. The golf outing, you have a gun, right? Can oh. you talk about the gun? Sure, a golf hat in here. Not, a, golf not an actual gun. I'm sorry. Not right. a gun. It's called a golf but... cannon. Thank you. Not, yeah, golf <laughs> cannon. So we um, purchased a golf cannon a couple of years ago um, for our outing at Heritage Golf Club, which we have on the second Monday in June. And it is hilarious. It's like a big old potato gun where people can, you know, pay to shoot the gun and it shoots the, the, the ball like really close to the green. So probably closer than they could get at the par four um, that they could with their own swing. So it's just a lot of fun. And people are just like, oh my gosh, um, Vargo Industries was um, at our outing and, and Mike Vargo was just like, what is this? I mean, right. it's just, yeah, it's something unusual and something fun. And yeah, we're all about having fun at the chamber. I mean, we work hard and so forth, but you know, if you're not having fun at your job, it's just, a, it's just a job, but this is not a job for us. It's, it's a passion. Yeah. And it comes through in everything that you do. And that's why I love mentioning all those things. And there's so many we haven't even touched on, but the big ones are taste, which is, you know, has Correct. now passed at the time of this recording, uh, Holly Fest, which is coming up very quickly. It'll be here before we know it. And, and it's so, so as of today, we're, we're still live. This is still going to go because last yeah. year we had oh. to be virtual. So this year we're going to go. Yes. It's a, awesome. it's a go, go, go. Awesome. And that parking lot is full all day. As it is. It's from nine to close nine to, to four um, on that Saturday at Davidson. Yes. It is an all day event and it's a big time event. It's awesome. It's fun. It's yeah. fun. So let me ask you this because our time's wrapping up. What what um, what changes have you seen in your years in Hilliard? Um, you, you know, you've mentioned you've you've been here for, for many years. What changes have you seen? I, I love old Hilliard now. I just with Crooked Can and the the pad, the the fountain pad and just everything that's happening in old Hilliard, ju the junction, as I mentioned, uh, home sweet home, all those different things. I, I am so excited about what's happening in old Hilliard. And it does my heart so good to go down on a Thursday night, for example, and just see it full. Um, so the Dora and things like that, like what changes have you seen that have just been so exciting? Well, ditto. Yeah, <laughs> that's been that's been the highlight, I think, for the growth of Hilliard. Um, but not only that, we're also bringing in other businesses that right. Verge Technologies over on Lyman Drive. It's, it's a huge tech building um, and operation that was is locally owned and so forth. So so many obvious things like that. But in terms of entertainment and so forth, I mean, what the city's been doing with their um, Hilliard the, um, Fourth of July yes. um, oh, programming huge. and so forth huge but we'd love being in old hilliard ourselves we're right here on main street we're just right in the thick of it so mm -hmm. we love i can walk down to the splash pad i can walk to um 
first responders park, which has a special meaning to me, as well as, you know, going to the, all the stores that are coming into Old Hilliard, that's great, but we'd never want to forget about the ones that are outside right. of the Old Hilliard um, footprint. But my gosh, Old Hilliard is just with the streetscape that was done probably over a decade ago, I'm sure, if not more, um, with the new brickwork and landscaping and all that. Like it's it's just a beautiful, beautiful place to walk around. So mm -hmm. yeah, I'd say that's the biggest draw right now is Old Hilliard. And I just want to make sure people don't call it downtown Hilliard because it is Old Hilliard. As the signs say, as you're entering the district, <laughs> you corrected me on Twitter uh, I when I when I posted that I was so excited about the junction being downtown. I have never made that mistake since, so <laughs> I call it Old Hilliard. But to me, Old Hilliard is the heart. But as you said, oh. there are so many arms and legs, and and there are other parts of the city, and there are great places not just an old Hilliard. And I'm glad you brought that up because there are some amazing businesses. This is just a great town. And I, I, I say it often on this podcast, I, I want to make Hilliard famous. Not that it's already not, but I want to make it even more famous. So famous, that's a, sir. Famous, sir. <laughs> more famous-ish or something like that. I don't know, whatever it is, I want to, I, I want to do that. Um, that's a personal goal of mine. Um, uh, and whatever that looks like, I don't know, but, but I, I couldn't think of a better place to do that. I love Hilliard. I mean, I've been here now for um, 40 some years and uh, and it's been great. I've lived in Brown Township, the city of Columbus, and I live in the city of Hilliard, but all the Hilliard school district. So it's a it's, it's home. I grew up in the 216, as you did. Love the hey, love the land. Love the right. land. The land. Um, go Browns. Um, <laughs> but, but I mean, Hilliard is, is home. It, yeah. it definitely is home and no plans of leaving on leaving anytime soon. So it's a uh, it's a great place to be. And we've raised our kids here. Um, and now they're off and my son and his family now live in Hilliard. So it's, awesome. yeah, they, they've come back to roost. So it's great. Well, and the schools, I mean, we, we could go probably brag all day long, but Hilliard schools, uh, there's just so many things to love about Hilliard. And, and we've got some things coming up that are hopefully exciting as well. And um, I love what Michelle is doing with the city and, and, and her, the entire, you know, uh, yeah. team. Um, but I love her direction and leadership. Um, it's been fantastic. So I'm really excited about everything. Yeah. The schools happening. have a special place in my heart too, since I was on school board for 12 years and my name mm -hmm. may be on a couple buildings around, right. around Hilliard and so forth. When I have a granddaughter, two granddaughters who are in the school mm -hmm. system. So Garrock is not a, a usual last name. So I, sometimes the teachers have been here for a while. will say, Hmm. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Well, and, and I have, uh, you know, my wife works for the school district and my kids are in my... the school district. So um, we, we are invested. And I think that's what I love about this town is, is you're, you're invested. You can't just live here. Like you have, there, there's, if you choose, there's so many ways to be invested. And one of them is with the chamber. Obviously, if you have any kind of a business, um, it's such a great investment. Um, and I say that almost in quotations because it's, the return is so much better than the investment. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. We work on it daily as to what kind of, because we are a relevant organization, we do a lot, um, but we want to make sure people's um, investment with us does pay off. So we're always inquiring, you know, what are we doing? How can we help you? What's the, you know, what are you looking for? How, who do you want to be connected with? And we're in crazy times and crazy times, unfortunately for you, uh, causes you to now go out and find resources and all those different things. And, and again, we, we can't make any promises, but it's so good to know you have a champion on your side as a business, because again, you know, a year and a half, the last two years has been crazy um, to know that there was a champion outside of our little, our own business while we were trying to figure things out that was out there working on our behalf um, is so important and critical. And I think it's only going to be more critical as we move forward in the crazy times that we're in. We're a convener, we're a collaborator. That's, you know, we have some other C words other than COVID. So right. that we Thank can um, champion. Um, those are some other better words than, than that. So yeah, if anybody has any questions, feel free to reach out, let us know. Um, we're, we're just at, right here on Main Street, right by the um, Old Bag of Nails, almost at the intersection of Norwich and Maine. We'll just come in and walk in as well. We can, you know, try and answer any questions you may have. And the website again. Hilliardchamber.org. Hilliard Chamber and your email one more time. Sorry. Libby at hilliardchamber.org. There you go. So thank you so much. I'm so thankful we we had that Twitter connection all yes. those years ago because your your friendship <laughs> to me has been obviously so just valuable. Um, you're networking with me. You you've provided me with resources outside of the chamber and inside the chamber through the years. And I'm just so thankful for you. And I'm so thankful for the chamber. I really am. It's it's a wonderful addition and um it's it's a pillar 
of of Hilliard, in my opinion. And so it was no question that we had to get you on as soon as possible to go well, on script. Thank so. you. I've enjoyed it tremendously. You know, I love to talk about Hilliard. So anybody wants to happy to help them. Absolutely. Well, all right. So those are two, those are two links. Go find those links. Thank you so much, Libby, for your time. It's been wonderful having you on script. Well, absolutely. And thanks for choosing Hilliard. Oh, a hundred percent. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. Thank you for joining me today for the latest episode of the Unscripted Podcast from my studio at The Junction in Old Hilliard. Remember to like, share, and tell a friend. Also, remember, stories are yours. I just click record. Mary redeemed a $50,000 cash prize playing Chumba Casino online. I was only playing for fun, so winning was a dream come true. Chumba Casino is America's favorite free online social casino. You, too, could have the chance to win life-changing cash prizes. Absolutely anybody could be like Mary. Be like Mary. Log on to ChumboCasino.com and play for free now. No purchase necessary. Void or prohibited by law. 18-plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. The voice of the preceding commercial was not the actual voice of the winner. Mary redeemed a $50,000 cash prize playing Chumba Casino online. I was only playing for fun, so winning was a dream come true. Chumba Casino is America's favorite free online social casino. You, too, could have the chance to win life-changing cash prizes. Absolutely anybody could be like Mary. Be like Mary. Log on to ChumboCasino.com and play for free now. No purchase necessary. Void or prohibited by law. 18-plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. The voice in the preceding commercial was not the actual voice of the winner.